In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the two best ways to build a $400 new gaming PC. One is purely about power and the other one is purely about aesthetics, but both with proper upgrade paths. Let's have a look. Hey, welcome to Zach's Tech Turf. So in my last two ways to build video, you guys didn't really like how I recorded it all in one take and it was a little sloppy. So in this video, I'm gonna make sure it's very quick and efficient and also with a little bit more production value. And if you're new here and you wanna see other gaming PC build guides just like this one, then hit that subscribe button down below and also that notification bell. That way you never miss an episode. But yeah, let's check out these builds. Today's video is brought to you by, wait for it, yeah, World of Warships. That's right, this ZTT video is now on the World of Warships train, or boat, I should say, with all of the other YouTube content that I'm sure you've seen is sponsored by them as well. The reason this video is sponsored by World of Warships is because it's actually a worthy game of flooding all your YouTube videos that you're watching because it's a thinking man's action game as it found the perfect balance of action and strategic gameplay. In World of Warships, which is free to play by the way, you command a massive naval fleet that features the world's most iconic war vessels such as the USS Indianapolis that allow you to dominate the oceans in some intense online gameplay. There's an incredible amount of detail in not just the hand design boat replicas from 3D scans of real life vessels, but also even the weather effects that create unique challenges throughout the game. Every week there's new missions and updates to keep you coming back, and if you haven't started yet, my link down in the description will be a huge help with all of the bonuses. By using my link and the invite code BATTLESTATIONS2020, you'll start off your account with 250 doubloons, 3 days of premium game time, 1 million credits, one port slot, and even a premium ship, the USS Charleston. Head on down to that link in the description to check out the action and strategy game that you've been searching for, and don't forget to use the invite code BATTLESTATIONS2020. Starting off with the pure performance build that definitely will not look as baller as most of the builds on this channel, the CPU I went with is the AMD Ryzen 3 1200, and I chose this one because it's probably the best CPU on the market that you can find at just 60 bucks. Even though the 1200 is a first generation Ryzen CPU, it's still packing a punch when paired with the proper GPU as it's rocking 4 cores and 4 threads with a boost clock of 3.4 GHz right out of the box. Speaking of that GPU, let's not beat around the bush with the other parts and let's just get straight into it. This is the Asus Strix 4GB RX570 which instantly catapults this build into 1080p high gaming at a really great price of only $120. RX570s are one of the best bang for your buck GPUs right now and the fact that we can pair a 4 core Ryzen CPU with a 570 in a $400 build is ridiculous ridiculous, and this is some insane price to performance value. Next up we get to the motherboard, and I decided on the Gigabyte B450M DS3H, which is not packing any bells and whistles whatsoever, but it does have 4 SATA ports, an M.2 slot, and even 4 slots for future RAM expansion. This motherboard is frequently chosen in my budget build guides because it's the cheapest AM4 motherboard with 4 RAM slots for future expansion, and it's also a B450, meaning that you could potentially overclock our CPU, which is definitely good for a power build. Moving on we get to the RAM, and I I wasn't kidding when I said this one was purely performance, as we're going with the very ugly 2x4 gigabyte kit from Crucial that's clocked at 3200 megahertz. Our storage solution is up next, and for both of these builds, I kinda just decided that with a max budget of $400, you're just not gonna get enough drive space, and I decided to go with the same budget SSD for both of the builds, and you're probably gonna wanna upgrade them pretty soon. The SSD that I decided on is the inland 240 gigabyte 2.5 inch SSD, which is absolutely no stranger to the channel. These drives are super cheap, but they're also fast and reliable, so they get my vote for these budget build guides. After that, we get to the power supply, and the EVGA 500 watt 80 plus certified unit is down to just $37, and that was a no-brainer for this build. Yep, we're definitely okay with those ketchup and mustard cables for this one. And finally, to house all of these parts is the Deepcool Matrix 30, and this case is actually really great for performance with that front panel for airflow, but unlike the rest of the parts, this thing actually looks pretty neat, and it's flirting with being on my aesthetics parts list. With with all that being said, here's what the entire parts list is looking like and at the time of writing this video, you can get everything including shipping for just $406. In my opinion, this is absolutely fantastic as you're getting a quad core Ryzen processor so you can upgrade the CPU at any time all the way up to a Ryzen 7 or even a Ryzen 9 and the RX 570 is a perfect GPU for 1080p gaming as well. This build honestly has a perfect upgrade path with the parts that we chose. You have a ton of options to 
upgrade in the future, but now let's move on to the beauty build, which also has a really good upgrade path. First up for our beauty build, I actually decided to squeeze in a pretty expensive Ryzen 5 3400G, which is packing four cores and eight threads with a boost clock of 4.2 gigahertz, and this is indeed better than the CPU we chose for our performance build, but let me explain. Sure, CPU to CPU, the beauty build is miles ahead of the power build, but the reason why I chose the 3400G in this build is because it's rocking integrated graphics, and I did not squeeze in a dedicated GPU for this build. The 3400G will allow you to play every game in either 720p or 1080p low for now. We'll have a ton of extra money to spend on aesthetics, which is the purpose of this build. And then in the future, you'll be able to upgrade to a dedicated GPU and have a very capable Ryzen 5 processor. Moving on past the CPU, we get to the motherboard. And here I went with an MSI B450 Gaming Plus. And here's where you can see the black and red theme commence. Since we're using the 3400G, you'll need to make sure that your motherboard either sells with the latest BIOS version, or you'll need to grab a Ryzen first generation or second generation CPU from either your friend or the AMD upgrade program to update that BIOS. To go along with the theme for RAM, I chose this Olo 2x8 gigabyte kit that's clocked at 3000 megahertz. And with how good this set looks, I'm pretty surprised as it's also rocking a beautiful price of just 55 bucks. Next up is the SSD. And like I already explained, both of these builds are rocking the 240 gigabyte inland model. And yeah, like I also said, you'll probably just want to upgrade these pretty soon after building this system. Following that, we have the power supply. And here I went with the EVGA BR 500 watt unit for two reasons. One is that it's rocking all black cables, which is perfect for a beauty build. And second is because 500 watts is enough for most reasonable GPU upgrades that you'll make in the future. More on that later. Finally, the last part for the $400 beauty build is the case. And to stick with the red and black theme, I went with the Cooler Master Masterbox Lite 3.1, which is rocking the red accent, a full tempered glass side panel, and overall, it's just a super clean design. Here's what the final parts list is looking like for the beauty build. And I think this build does a great job of packing the aesthetics now, but also a very solid upgrade option in the future with a dedicated GPU. I would personally recommend going with something like the red and black Asus ROG Strix 5700 XT, as it would pair perfectly with the color scheme of the build and match nicely with our Ryzen 5 3400G. Well, there you have it. That's going to wrap up my $400 gaming PC build guides, both with an aesthetic option and a power option. As always, drop a comment down below about what you thought of these build guides or what you would personally do to change them. After that, feel free to head on over to one of these two videos if you haven't seen them yet, and definitely hit that subscribe button because coming up next, my first used gaming PC build guide in quite some time. You don't wanna miss that video.